Right, welcome. Our uh, second presentation of the year. So it's always exciting to start over, start fresh. Uh, we can accomplish all those things that we didn't accomplish last year that we wanted to. Uh, and I have been able to convince Cheryl to be my co-host on these calls. So um, much more fun to do with a partner. Think about that in every aspect of your Avon business. How can you partner with someone to make it more fun and less like work? <laughs> Um, so welcome if you haven't been on one of our calls before. Uh, I try to give as many tips and advice and training that I can give uh, by growing all three areas of the business. So um, my theory is to always build a solid foundation. So um, you know, maybe if you only want to do sales and your sales aren't good, that's going to bring you down. But if you have your leadership side to balance you out, uh, the more ways we build our business, the more solid of a foundation we have and uh, the quicker we can build when we get to the right time and place in our business. So I came up with the Makeup Marketing Online and the goal of that is to really help Avon representatives uh, figure out how to be profitable and successful in this business. So I do a lot of stuff for free. You're welcome to follow my YouTube channel. That's the easiest place to find my free training. And then if you are part of Team Momentum, uh, I do give you free access to all of my training and uh, upcoming boot camps and different events that I do. So uh, that is a perk and I highly recommend uh, that if you don't know everything about the Avon business that you really take the time to go through training and to learn. Um, that can be the most important thing you do. Uh, in any stage of your business, you always want to be growing and learning. Um, for those of you that want to have a more in-depth look at the social media training, online marketing, uh, I am doing a boot camp again, February 19th to the 23rd. So you can uh, find information about that on makeupmarketers.com or uh, sign up through this event bright. All right, so when I travel, it's about the only time <laughs> where I sit still for long periods of time and have time to think and analyze and reflect. I am always bringing uh, some sort of personal development book with me. Um, and my life planner, the, the bigger my business has become, the busier I've become, uh, the more important that planner is to me. Um, I remember being so overwhelmed in the beginning with different due dates and trying to be a leader and do this and that. And now I pretty much know what I need to do every day. It's just more about finding the time to do everything. Um, so I hope that you guys uh, are really into planning and organizing and prioritizing because uh, that is what can really make or break your business. Um, we are at almost 1,200 reps. Uh, we, we went up to 1,220. We're, we're dropping off a little bit, but um, that's okay. I know that more growth is coming. Um, so congratulations to those of you that survived. <laughs> um, there's really exciting things to come. Uh, in our, all of our futures with new Avon. So um, be excited about your future, be optimistic, and always believe in yourself. Um, you're going to be the only one there when, when people aren't around you at, at times, and you really have to cheer yourself on. You have to be your own inspiration, toot your own horn, don't you, Cheryl? Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, so 
We're about to close out campaign three tomorrow. Uh, our, our team sales are almost 300,000 for uh, six weeks. So that is awesome. And we have a really big increase already. Um, I've learned not to set uh, limitations on what we can achieve and just really dream big and set goals and plan uh, for the best. So um, in campaign two, we finished at number 23, uh, the 23rd team in the nation. So um, there is no I in team. You guys are all a part of that, that are on Team Momentum. Uh, so keep doing an awesome job and striving for what you want to get out of this business. Uh, I, I separated some of these pictures here um, to kind of show you what I, what I experience on these trips. Um, I've become uh, pretty spoiled by Avon in that I get to visit all of these beautiful places. Uh, we have friends across the country. Um, so one of my favorite things about traveling with Avon is I always try to extend it a few days or go earlier um, to really enjoy the experience and the location that we're in because they always put us up at the best places. Uh, I told Cheryl and Autumn that they are spoiled by living here <laughs> um, because I am in the gloomy Midwest right now and uh, these scenes were just uh, out of this world to me. So um, experiencing the city and being able to travel is one of the great perks about being a rep. Avon swag. So if you've never been to an Avon event, um, they hook you up. Uh, you never leave empty handed. Uh, this is all the stuff that I left with and Cheryl's actually mailing me those two big checks. Um, I didn't want to get rid of them, but I didn't really want to take them as my carry on on the airplane. So Avon swag is another bonus for traveling. Um, and then just the fun, and I do this for my family, um, everything that I want out of my business and uh, for making money is so that I have more time and experiences with my family. And we've just met, you know, I've become such good friends with people that I see just a few times a year on these trips. So um, really, if you have the opportunity to experience an Avon trip, um, don't miss it. Uh, we can all come up with excuses and reasons why we can't uh, figure out a way that you can. Um, so we had fun with JP and Autumn and Teresa. We went out on the town and Cheryl wanted me to try uh, ro rockin' Baja Lobster, right? <laughs> okay, so we had a good time. And uh, here's me with my Aspira. I always have to show you what, what I'm doing with Avon and, and with my personal life. Rob was supposed to leave for uh, China last Friday after I got home on Wednesday, um, but he is dealing with some back pain. So he didn't wanna go on a 12-hour a flight. <laughs> 15 hours, I think, actually. Um, Okay, so if you do not know these people, you should. We have Pam Heller, Donna Reed Mitchell, and Luis and Marta. Uh, they all promoted in title. So Marta made it to Platinum Executive. Donna and Pam both made it to Gold Executive Leader. Um, they always say hang out with the crowd that you want to become. So these are people that you guys should all know. Um, I feel like, you know, it, I'm lucky that I get to see them so often, but I forget if you don't go to the national events, you may not hear about them. So I think it's really valuable to talk about um, some of the most successful people with Avon. We have Vondell McKenzie. She was our first senior executive unit leader with Avon. 
Um, so the leadership side of the business is relatively new compared to how many years Avon has been around. Um, so I was kind of joking with her. I said, I, I'm sure you've seen uh, so many changes with Avon. <laughs> she probably doesn't recognize it sometimes. Um, and then she partners with her son, Stan. I'm sure that you all have heard of Miss Lisa Wilbur. Um, she was always my inspiration and would share that huge paycheck of hers um, that always kept me going when my paycheck did not. <laughs> so I thank Lisa for being open and uh, sharing with all of us. And then uh, Peter and Bernadette Calamaris, they sell almost $22 million worth of Avon with their team per year. Um, so check out this list. These are uh, the top of the top at Avon. Okay, so I did want to include some of our, our slides that we go over every time since we have people in so many different phases of our business. Uh, so there are no changes to the daily care collection that is available to representatives to sell in their first seven campaigns. Um, so I recommend if you don't have any orders for it that you buy one yourself. Maybe you want some to have on hand um, and and print out as many of these flyers as you can. You don't have to give people, um, you don't have to give them a full catalog to try and find new customers. And Sarah is telling me there's a new flyer. So no, I have not seen that, but thank you for letting me know. Um, it's always important to stay on top of your Avon info, and it does change so often um, that you gotta, you gotta keep checking it, make sure you have the latest version. We do still have the Kickstart program uh, where new representatives in their first seven campaigns um, need to hit progressive goals to earn 40% commission. So, um, really what Avon's doing in the beginning is uh, kind of training you to get some big sized orders. Uh, it's how you're going to be most successful with Avon uh, and really have the most satisfaction. Um, they want you to be making good money so that you stay, oops, let me go back here, stay with the company and are happy being with us. Uh, so calling for support. Um, I know that Facebook has made it so that we can go on and, and ask a question and get an answer almost instantaneously. Um, but I really recommend that you do your own research too and find out how to find the answers because that's um, what's going to make you resourceful and more productive. And it's going to put uh, good habits into place for when you start coaching a team. Um, we can, it's kind of similar to kids. We can give them the answers or we can give them the tools to be able to uh, pick the right choice when we're not around. Um, so I do have the Makeup Marketing Online Facebook group. Uh, all reps are welcome to join there. Um, your first contact should be Avon Customer Service. Um, if you're really frustrated, you've talked to customer service, you've talked on Facebook groups, and you're still upset about something, um, this email address has saved me multiple times. It's where I go when I can't get answers, <laughs> and um, they're always super helpful. What I suggest is that you go to them um, and be positive and professional. Don't go on there just uh, complaining up a storm. People do that enough on Facebook. <laughs> um, so let's celebrate some of our top new rep sellers and then we'll get into more of the content from the meeting. So Julitza, Angel, Sarah, Grace, Jennifer, Shantae, Elizabeth, Tammy, Alicia, and Patrick. Um, these are all new representatives and the top 10 on our team for campaign two. Um, 
Yay! <laughs> so with the President's Club, I, as a leader, am going to do a better job this year of keeping my team on track. Um, so if you have a team, even if you're just evaluating for yourself, um, you want to make sure that you're averaging around $400 per campaign. So we are uh, three campaigns in. Your sales, if you want to hit President's Club, should be just over $1,100 for the cycle so far. Um, so it's going to be so much easier if you stay at that level the whole year and then at the end you don't feel like you have to uh, do drastic things to make a certain level. It's so much easier if you put the work in the whole year round. Um, so what I recommend is that you go for the level that's higher than what you got last year. Or if you're brand new, that you go for President's Club. Um, so there's lots of great benefits to reaching all these different levels. Um, President's Club, the biggest perk is the 40% earnings. So uh, let's say you have a bad campaign. You only have $75 to turn in. Um, if you're a member of that President's Club, you're still going to get 40% on your full earnings items. So uh, you get it for the year um the the year that you're already in so let's say i got it in campaign 13 i would have it for all the rest of 2018 and then also for 2019 so um as soon as you hit it you start getting the rewards and sarah is already almost there so that is amazing all right so these are some of Team Momentum's PC members. And uh, spending that time with Cheryl, I really, um, really realized how valuable it is to get to know my team members. I know we're spread out all over the country, um, but Avon is actually allowing leaders to be able to go to any of the PC events. So I'm gonna see how many more team members I can meet this year. Uh, hopefully by uh, visiting some of those events, and if not, uh, meeting you at RepFest. So to celebrate last year, uh, the President's Recognition Program celebration will be held in Disney World in April. Um, so definitely follow people that are on that trip. It will just make you really want to reach those levels so that you can participate in it. Um, and please note that this is for President's Council. I know it's confusing that President's Club and President's Council have the same uh, abbreviation, <laughs> um, but there's a big difference in the sales. So, um, they did announce that it is our 50th anniversary of the President's Club. And so next year's celebration is going to be in Hawaii. Um, I have never been to Hawaii. If I have any regrets with my Avon business, one is passing up any trips. <laughs> and my other one is not starting leadership earlier. So uh, please learn from my mistakes. Go to every event and trip that you can. Um, I have actually passed up Hawaii because I didn't really know anyone and I only earned the trip for one. So shame on me. <laughs> um, learn from my mistakes. So the way there's going to be four different ways to earn that are new this this year. So um, you can achieve President's Council or Inner Circle. Um, so those two levels you actually earn um, a, a trip plus a guest. Um, you can make it by being an executive lead, leader and achieving any level of the President's Club. Uh, the top 20 nationally of the Avon Pinnacle recognition. So those, those are like, uh, those are the ones that are under community, right, Cheryl? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you like how I pulled you into that one? 
Um, so you guys uh, go under your rewards and recognition and really read through the president's program so you know all these different details of how you can earn a free trip. Um, they are also taking the top five in sales increase um, for first time achievers at these different, different PC levels. So they're making more ways for you to be able to earn the president's trip. Um, so some of our top sellers who are in their eighth through however many campaigns, uh, Agnieszka, Wendy, Kimberly, Sarah, Tricia, Cheryl, Rebecca, Betty, Terry, Ashley, Kovita, Bridget, Brandy, Rachel, Christina, Peter, Marion, Deanne, Patsy, and Jillian. Great job, you guys. I know it's a rough time of the year. Um, everybody's trying to catch up from Christmas, uh, but let me just tell you from past year's experience that tax time becomes pretty pretty good for us. So you, you should see a little spike in sales and in your recruiting uh, when people start getting those tax returns back. So Carrie Wilkerson uh, was our keynote speaker. And uh, one thing that I take away from these trips, other than the, the fun and the friendship and uh, learning from, from corporate and other representatives, um, is always the keynote. Like those keynote uh, presentations always stick with me. Uh, I still follow Darren Hardy from a few years ago. Now I follow, follow John Gordon, he was our speaker. Um, so I like to follow these motivational speakers who I've actually met in, or seen in real life. It just, uh, it ends up meaning more when you're following them and, and you know that you've seen them and heard them present before. Carrie used to actually be an Avon rep. So um, her advice, her biggest thing that stuck with me was uh, act like a CEO. She was saying like, you know, that we shouldn't be wearing spandex and, <laughs> and we shouldn't be waking up with our hair like this, that uh, you really want to dress the part for what you want to become. Um, stop making excuses for why you can't figure out how you can take action, engage, make sure you're at events and uh, participating, have fun and be accountable. Um, at the end of the day, your success is up to you. So um, when you hear yourself in your head, start making excuses why you can't do something, um, stop yourself and say, wait a minute, yes, I can, and here's what I'm gonna do. Um, it's really I'm, about, oh, go ahead. I'm gonna chime in because I'm, I'm looking at everybody's comments and I'm just cracking up because when I was listening to her speak, I was sitting next to Emily and I just kept looking at Emily <laughs> and laughing because it's like she was talking to me. And one of the things, I'm not sure how she said it, but she's like, every morning, get up, get dressed and get to work. And it was just so funny because Emily is always telling me, you need to make more videos. And, and the funny thing is, is because I work from home, I'm always in my pajamas. <laughs> and I just, never, <laughs> I never want to get up and get dressed and do the whole makeup and hair. And so it was like she was talking to me to just, you know, get ready for the day. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a disadvantage now that we always have to be prepared to, to do a video or present. Um, but it's also a good thing. It makes it feel uh, so much more personable. Um, videos can really make a big difference with your team when you're leading virtually and not able to have local meetings. Um, so yeah, like Cheryl, Cheryl said, we were both kind of chuckling because Cheryl's, Cheryl's face was turning all red when she was talking about getting up and getting dressed. <laughs> all right, so the business updates. So uh, we can take RPS and throw it out. <laughs> um, I never thought I would see this day, but uh, I think, you know, once we get past 
adjusting to it, it's going to be a really good thing. Uh, the first question that new representatives always ask is, when is my order due? Um, so instead of, well, you should still tell them where to go to look to find out, but um, you can easily say it off the top of your head because all of us will be on the same schedule. Um, they are going to be charging a shipping fee every time you place an order during that two-week time frame, uh, but there will be no late fees. Uh, so it should be kind of interesting because we all know that product availability is better in the beginning of a campaign. So don't try to wait till the very end to put in your order. And if you're comfortable on your regular due date, just stick with it. Um, if, if you like routine and you're happy with what you're doing, uh, just stick with, stick with your regular due date. All right, the career guide, we uh, showed that a little bit. It really goes into um, depth about all of the earnings opportunities. Um, it's a really nice guide. Uh, what we did not find out yet is whether that's gonna be given to certain representatives or if it's up to the leader to be uh, giving it to their team. So we'll try to get an answer for you on that. Oops, um, let me go back. So yes, I was really excited that we can attend an APC tribute. Uh, so that goes for you guys as well. If uh, you have a friend that normally goes to a different PC event, um, you can go to whichever one you want. You just need to register and let Avon know. Uh, and then leaders are going to be able to, to attend their team members' events. And if you don't know what the tribute is, it is uh, President's Club and higher are invited to it. It's usually a lunch or a dinner, a lot of recognition, and uh, a time to network with your fellow Avon representatives. So uh, it, I know if there's one thing that Avon has been consistent with and always does a fabulous job with is recognition. Um, you know, it's, it's something that goes a long way these days because it's not given a lot. So uh, hats off to Avon for always doing a great job at that. Um, so leadership compensation, we'll show you the new chart in a little bit. Uh, biggest difference, uh, you can now earn on, well, you will be able to, in campaign five, earn on fourth and fifth generation. Um, and the requirements and percentages change a little bit, but we'll cover that. So the, the program is going into place in campaign five. You won't be paid on the changes until campaign nine. Yes, so Sarah, I am going to have to look at those dates and locations and see if I can travel to uh, support some of you guys at your events. Um, new products coming. So I hope you have seen a little preview of our Mother's Day. Um, is, that, is that campaign nine, I think? Um, let's see, campaign nine. That would be in April. I'm not sure. I think it's campaign nine, but um, really cute. Boss lady and mini boss. I'm gonna have to get that for Miss Ava. But like, she should probably wear the boss lady one. <laughs> She's the real boss. <laughs> okay, really cute. Really, it's a compliment. <laughs> She's She's yelling at me over there. <laughs> Now there's really cute shirts we're gonna get. Okay, and there's lots of head to toe glow. So highlighting, highlighting and illuminating makeup uh, coming campaign seven to 14. Yeah, we get, Ava, come show your haircut. Uh, Multi-masking is the fastest growing products, masks are. Uh, she cut her hair, we cut her hair short, so she's oh, good. Short yeah. hair like mama. See the back? <laughs> Wait. I have it. No, this way. 
There we go. Got it angled. Okay, they like it. <laughs> so the, the trend is to be multi-masking, putting on different masks for different areas of your skin. Um, so there will be three new clay masks, brightening, purifying, and calming for the Anu line. So that's exciting. Um, and then kids are coming back. Yay. <laughs> I know all of us were really upset when they were uh, taken out of the book, uh, especially at Christmas time. So uh, they're coming out in campaign 16. They're going to be 100% uh, toxin free. Uh, so they're going to be made safer for kids and uh, they will be back. They started, they showed us the first phase of the line with, with some bath and body products and they're going to be, um, there was a, a slime, which looks cool. I know <laughs> slime is like a huge thing with kids right now. <laughs> I think we've made uh, fluffy slime, crunchy slime, whatever slime. <laughs> okay, and then the Beauty Essentials Sampler. Um, I showed that in the beginning. So um, this is going to be an addition to the AVOX. Um, it comes in like a Ziploc almost, but it's uh, really cool packaging. Um, so the, the intention of this product is to bring in new Avon customers. Um, so we've been around over 130 years, which is awesome, but it also uh, also gives us kind of an older brand feel. So um, this is to get people back into Avon. We have good products, so just uh, get them to try them. Um, so have them on hand. You can use it as a conversation starter. Uh, $31 value for $10. So your customer does not have to spend a minimum amount to be able to get that. You always want to follow up when you give samples, sales tools, a, a gift. Um, and then again, this is to grow your customer base where the A box is to boost your average order. Um, that, let's see, where, which, what's new? I think I took that uh, picture out of the what's new seven. Um, so I should go over this too. You can buy one for $6, five for 27, or 10 for 48. And that is the product number up there and it's no limit. Um, so Ellen, these are for you or your customers. Um, Oh yeah, I, I wanted to share this because I thought it was a cute idea. Um, you can do it by giving it away to your best customers. You can give it as a gift or you can buy it to reward your team members. So I thought that was a cool idea. Um, it comes with Skin So Soft, a new our Cherry Jubilee uh, lipstick and then um, the a new Power Serum too. So it gives them a little sampler of the different categories we sell. So I hope you are all still on your Aspira journey. Um, I took a break just while I was traveling because I didn't want to get messed up traveling. <laughs> um, but I'm back on it again. Uh, I love the products, they're natural. It helps uh, me not be bloated and helps keep my energy high for the day. So. I hope you guys are all still uh, trying Aspira and sharing about it often. I think one of the things that direct sellers do a lot is uh, get real excited and then abandon. So um, one of the most important things you can do in marketing your business is to always be consistent. Um, don't try to go heavy putting it on your friends and family and then back off and, and they never hear about it again. Be consistent and talk about it often and people will start coming to you to ask you questions about your products. So I was amazed. I was just going to say I was amazed at how, how many different posts are in the social media center for the Aspira. You won't run out of um, things to post, but always add a, a little personal um, feel to it. 
Yes. And don't mention weight loss like I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the, I was actually used as like the kind of okay example because <laughs> what I said was good, but they didn't like that I put any weight loss in there. So um, we're not supposed to talk about weight loss. We can say we feel better and we look better and we can show improvements, but um, just do not insinuate that it helps any medical condition or your weight. Uh, so there is another Espira webinar coming up on this Wednesday. So you can register uh, for that. And then also uh, February 1st is the last opportunity to get in on the Feel It, Share It challenge. Um, so you can find more info in your Aspira Hub. Um, Avon Social. So uh, the social media center is being taken over uh, by a more advanced, uh, a cool tool that we can all use to boost online sales and uh, recruiting. So uh, one of the most important things you can do with online marketing is to uh, measure and analyze results and then make changes to your routine based on what's working. Um, that's what's pretty cool about doing it online because when you uh, put up a billboard, it's really hard to track whether you're actually getting sales out of it. Um, but when you're online and you look at those stats, it really gives you a, a story of where you need to spend more of your time. So they have also easily displayed our, our e-store or customer website, whatever you wanna call it. Um, the address is right at the top of youravon.com. There's also easy uh, social media share icons. And if you don't know, every single product on our e-store has social media share buttons. So um, don't say you don't have anything to post because there's like over I bet there's a couple thousand products on our website. So uh, good things to share are customer testimonials, um, the star rating, magazine features, sales, people love the sales. Uh, and then the welcome 10 code is still good for one time for any of your customers. Uh, sometimes I feel like a broken record, but I know there's new people coming into the business all the time. So that's a really great way to get new online shoppers. <laughs> yes, Rhonda, she said, you told us not to and you did it, LOL. That's because uh, I did it before I knew you weren't supposed to. Do as I say and not as I do, right? <laughs> Okay, so our top e-sellers, Covita, Sarah, Brittany, Iris, Kim, Rachel, Patsy, Alicia, Haley, and Terry. Way to go. Now I'm going to hand it over to Cheryl for the fun incentives. Yay. Yay. We all love our incentives. Hi, everybody. I am... Um... I, I read up on all this, so hopefully I can get through it really good. So the first one we're going to talk about is the pinning streak. Hi, hi, Sarah. Um, what I love about this incentive is it's for everybody, and there's not a lot you have to do to earn it. All you have to do is if you're a um, representative that's been um, with Avon for a while, it's just place an order in every campaign from campaigns one through 13, and you're gonna earn the Avon pin that you see right here on the left-hand side. Doesn't matter how big the order is, but you don't wanna go negative with returns or, you, or it won't count. So just place an order in every campaign from one to 13, and you're gonna earn the Avon pin. Now, if you're a new representative who places your first order during the incentive period from um, starting in campaign one and you're in your kickstart, all you have to do is your first order has to be any size, it's follow along with the kickstart guide. Second campaign, you have to place an order of $150 or more. And during your third campaign, you need to place an order of $200 or more and bam, you've earned the Avon pin. 
So that's actually how simple it is. I think, let's see, what does the next slide have? Okay, so um, the whole purpose of this is consistency, getting um, used to placing an order in every campaign. So um, just make sure that you guys are following along with the plan. And then you want to make sure in campaign 14 or 15 that you place an order so that the Avon pin will come with your order. Oh, and President's PRP members, if you're a President's Club, you're also going to get 50 PRP points. Yay! Okay, shake up your sales. I have some highlights here. So this, this has been going on for a while. This is from, for campaigns one through five. So we're actually coming to the end of it. And this, has to, this is um, related to these fair products. So basically, if you're a new representative and you were not a representative last year during campaigns one through five, your base is gonna be $500. So as long as during campaigns one through five, your orders total $600, you're gonna earn the earbuds. I said it right that time. And then if, um, let's see. So then 750 or more, you're gonna earn the earbuds and the tote. And it goes up from there if your sales increases five hundred dollars over the 500 base you're going to earn the apron tote and earbuds thousand dollars or more all of those plus the sound machine two thousand dollars or more the fit tracker plus all of those other items if you were already a representative if you go to your um rewards and recognition tab at youravon.com. <laughs> Sarah's making fun of the earbuds. Go to your recognition page at youravon.com and go to your goal card and it will tell you that's how you'll get an idea of where you were at last year from campaigns one to five. And then you can also, um, if you go to the success center when you first log into youravon.com, and go to the incentives, it'll actually, there's a paid uh, thing that you can click on that will take you to where it has your information of what you need to have in those five campaigns to earn these products. Now, here's a really cool thing. I like this. Um, if you only earn the ear buds, I have to think about it. If you only earn the earbuds, but you place an order in all five campaigns, you're actually gonna earn an Avon branded car magnet. So that's actually pretty neat. Um, different ways for you to earn, that's exciting. So there's no reason that we can't be earning some of that stuff. Get some ear bugs, bugs in your ear. Okay, shake up your sales top achievers. Um, so I know that Kimberly is new, so she's probably already earned all of those items. Sarah, I believe, earned all of the items. Agnieszka, let's see. What did I do with it? So she's probably earned everything. Wow, this is amazing. Angel Teal, Brandy Shelley, Barbara Mathis, Sarah Irons, Trisha Thomas, Wendy Sizemore, and Betty Thomas. So you guys probably have all earned some amazing, amazing prizes. prizes. That's exciting. I don't know if I've even earned the earbuds yet. <laughs> um, cruise like a boss incentive. So we're getting close to the end of this. Um, it's not over with yet, so don't everybody panic. But the cruise is April 28th to May 3rd. And you need 7,000 total points to earn it for one and 11,000 to earn it for two. And this is from campaign 20 of last year to campaign, <laughs> Sarah, campaign six of this year. And you're going to earn the points through sales, recruiting, title promotion, mentoring a title promotion. So you want to make sure that your order 
your orders are going in that are either $300 or $500. Every time you recruit a, um, a representative, a qualified new recruit that places a $150 order, if it's a Avon lead, you're going to get 150 points. If it's a personal lead, 300 points. Title promotions, you get 1,000 points. And every time you mentor a recruit that has a title prom promotion in leadership, you're going to get another 500 points. Now, remember, there's also prizes that they're giving uh, that you're earning. You can earn a makeup bag, a tote bag, a suitcase. So at the end of this, I hope that you all earn the cruise, but remember, even if you don't earn the cruise, you're going to earn some amazing prizes. And I know that a lot of you have already earned those prizes. So yay. But I can't wait to see um, who else is going to be on the cruise that I get to hang out with. I actually have one team member, Becky, Becky Mask, who has earned the Avon cruise for one. So I know she's going to be partying it up with us. So I can't wait to see who else is there. And here we go. The top, oh, top achievers. Myself, Becky, Kim, Jane, Barbara, Tricia, Sarah, Gisela, Heather, and Terry. There's still plenty of time. If you guys really want it, it's time to start getting down to it. I know you guys can do it. I'm so excited. Some of you are so close. I also want to add that a lot of times Avon um, doesn't announce incentives until we've already started the beginning of the incentive period. So in order to get yourself set up uh, to earn these incentives, um, make sure that you're focused on sales, recruiting, and helping your team advance in title and you advance in title. So if you're consistently doing that every campaign, then they announce an incentive uh, and it already started, you don't have to worry. So just um, always focus on growth and then the incentives will follow. Um, and they kind of hinted that there was gonna be a, a rep fest incentive. So, um, get recruiting, get selling, um, grow your business. <laughs> All right. So they brought back the build like a boss workshop. So that's really exciting. Um, these workshops are great at helping you plan for your future and your success as an Avon representative. They do sell out fast. I heard Emily say that some of them only have maybe less than 40 spots left. So here's a list of all the different cities. Again, you can find this information at youravon.com. Go in there, find a city close to you, get registered. Um, it'll really be worth your time. And don't wait because they do sell out fast. This is what I'm so excited about. Now, um, Betty had kind of hinted with her little red envelope about a new set, uh, incentive coming along. And she was telling all of us, recruit, recruit, recruit. Yes, the secret incentive. And it was announced at the leadership kickoff last weekend, or what was it? Yeah, last weekend in San Diego. So this goes from campaigns one through 10. If you're a tre trendsetter, it's gonna be three through 10. But how it works is for every qualified recruit, personal recruit you have that places a $150 order or more in their first or second campaign, you're gonna get a scratcher ticket, just like last year. And every scratcher ticket is a winner, every one of them. And this year, there's no limit to how many you can get. Emily! <laughs> we know she's gonna get probably 50 of them. <laughs> she is really good at personal recruits. And if you look at the prizes, Emily actually won the Yeti cooler when we were down in San Diego. She had no idea what it was and we were trying to tell her, oh, you don't understand, that's awesome, they're expensive. Um, so she's pretty excited about it now. 
but they're going to have, um, oh my gosh, with Blue Apron, free meals for a, a year, the iPhones, $1,000 scratchers, cell phone service for a year. The list goes on and on. It's absolutely amazing. So when you get a ticket, if you earn a ticket, just look at this list and know that you're going to get one of these. You're going to earn one of those prizes. Oh, you went backwards. How exciting is that? I was trying to so copy the link over. <laughs> huh? No, never mind. Go ahead. Um, so remember, they have to be personal recruits. And the qualified new recruit is a recruit that places an order of $150 or more during their first or second campaign. Um, there's no limit to how many tickets. And if you do earn a ticket, you want to make sure that you include that hashtag when you post the picture of your uh, your prize. Um, build like a boss about Avon, blab about Avon. And you have to go live. It's a rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not really, but it's so much more fun when you go live and you get to see all the Avon reps across the country winning prizes. Oh my gosh, last year was so amazing. They're going to also have registration for Rep Fest. If you've already paid for it, they're going to reimburse you. Um, and keep in mind that your recruit that places that $150 order, the paid order requirement will not be waived. So they have to pay for that order on time for it to count. So you want to um, make sure that you're following up with your downline members if they haven't paid for their order. Um, but anyway, so that's all I have on that one. I am so excited that they're doing it again this year. Yay! Last year was just the best. Okay, the Bronze Leader Development Incentive. This is just crazy. I don't know how many of you have read through this, but there is some money out there. So how this works is during the, there's two incentive periods. The first incentive period is campaigns seven to 13. The second one is campaigns 14 to 20. Now, if you mentor two members of your downline to title to bronze leader or above during the first incentive period, you're gonna get $5,000. $5,000. And do you know that if you do it again during the second incentive period, you're going to get another $5,000. 10, count it, $10,000. I am so going to be all over this. I'm so excited about it. So you can earn, they're separate. You can only earn one time during the incentive period. So if you mentor four, representatives you, that don't count during an incentive period. Now keep in mind, for you to earn it though, that bronze leader is going to have to maintain for the next, um, for a total of four out of five campaigns. So they're going to qualify and the next, so that would be the next um, three out of four campaigns, they have to qualify as a bronze leader in order for you to get that $5,000. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Now, I'm not done, Emily. <laughs> the, now, if they qualify during the incentive period, the maintenance part of it can go outside of the incentive period, but they have to actually qualify during the incentive period. And you have to at least be a bronze leader or above for you to be able to get the, um, so like say you were a, a gold ambassador and you were able to get one of your downline to qualify as a bronze leader, you're not gonna qualify because you're at a, a level lower than they are. Okay, I'm done with that one, Emily. <laughs> you can just say next and then I'll, yeah. then I'll go. <laughs> okay. The rapid, uh-oh, where's that one at? Oh, here we go. The rapid promotion incentive. Now, this is great for all of you leaders out there. Um, to earn, okay, so basically, 
this is for representatives that advance within, I think it's the first, um, if you advance to bronze ambassador within three campaigns, you would normally get a $500 bonus, but because you're doing it within three campaigns, they're gonna double the bonus. And then if you get the silver ambassador within six campaigns, you're gonna get double up to 1500 and so on. So in a 13, within 13 campaigns, if, if you have a new, rep, a new leader, a new representative who can promote all the way up to bronze leader and do it all within these time frames, they're gonna get $7,500 in bonus money. It's gonna be paid out in two separate payments. Um, let's see. Oh, this is important. To be eligible to participate, that new representative has to place their first order on or before their expected campaign of first order. Now, if you're a leader um, and you go into your vibe and you click on your representative, it's gonna tell you when their first expected order is. So if they don't place an order by then, they're not gonna qualify for this. So that's another incentive for you to get them to place those orders. And then if you are a new representative, you want to make sure that you know when your expected first campaign is due um, and that you make sure you place it within that time frame so that you can be eligible for this incentive. It's just, it's amazing all of the money that Avon has out there for you guys. It's just waiting to be had. So, um, Make sure that you talk with your upline about leadership. That's where the money is, you guys. Leadership. All of these incentives, I know a couple of them are for sales and everything, but the money, the promotion money that's out there, you guys, um, talk to your uplines about leadership, how it works, how to get started. They will be more than willing to help you. Um, and you're just gonna be amazed. And we're gonna see you at the, le the next leadership kickoff meeting. I don't know where it's gonna be, but you're gonna be there, so yay! Any more? Emily's always laughing at me. Rep Fest, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have to tell you guys, when I first heard it was going to be in Columbus, Ohio, I was kind of like, huh? I've never been there and I was like, well, I've never heard anything exciting about it. So I was kind of, you know, looking to see what was in Columbus and everything. But then when we were at the leadership kickoff, we found out that we're gonna have a concert, free concert for everybody who attends Rep Fest by Rascal Flats. Woo! And then our keynote speaker, is going to be Barbara Corcoran from the Shark Tank. I mean, come on, you guys. It doesn't get better than that. If you've never been to Rep Fest, it is so much fun, so exciting, nonstop action and learning. And I mean, you don't even have time to think about going sightseeing. It's just nonstop. You get to meet all of your um, fellow Avon representatives. You got to go. Start saving now. It's July 27th to 29th. They're going to have um, early registration February 12th, and you'll be able to get it a little bit cheaper than if you wait, you know, longer. There's going to be discounted airline rates, discounted hotel rooms. If you live close, just drive back and forth every day. But it's, it's amazing. Nashville, they hit it out of the park in Nashville. Um, we had our own private dinner and party at the Wild Horse Saloon. It was just amazing. So we hope to see you guys all there. Um, yeah, last year we were the first to try a spear. Not only did we get the complete booth system while we were at Rep Fest, but then we got it, what, two more, two more shipments after that, Emily? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, think so. <laughs> I mean, you think about the value of all that, plus all the swag that we got while we were there. So Rep Fest is amazing. Do everything you can to try and be there, um, and we'll see you there.
and join join this Facebook group. Um, people talk about finding roommates, making plans. So never never don't go to an event because you feel like an outsider. Um, honestly, like the first few trips that I went on, I I did not know anyone. So um, push your comfort zone. That's where you're gonna grow the most uh, personally and professionally. Yeah, and start meeting people now. Start chatting with other representatives on Facebook and engaging and becoming friends with other representatives so that when you do go to these events and you run into these people, it's like you already know them. That happened to me at leadership. I had all kinds of people coming up to me and talking to me that, you know, had followed me on Facebook and it's just amazing. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. <laughs> so um, they often call us incentive junkies <laughs> because our activity like goes way up when they have incentives for us. Um, it really is what attracted me to building a team. If you don't know my story, I was almost fully focused on sales for the first five years. So um, get excited about those incentives. Find the recruiting technique that is comfortable for you. Um, or if you don't wanna build a team and you're happy with where you're at with your Avon business, then so be it. Um, I know a lot of people say they feel left out because Avon focuses so much on leadership. Um, but honestly, building in all three areas, it is the biggest area of opportunity. And it is what is going to leave a multi-million dollar business for my children to take over if they want to someday. So um, if your will to succeed, uh, okay, Rob has a birthday princess crown on. Um, if your will to succeed is greater than your fears, uh, you will find a way. So uh, just some reminders about the basics. Sometimes it's good to go back to basics and, and redo something we used to do that worked and we kind of forgot about it. Uh, wear and use the product always have sales tools on you um or your smartphone you know you can you can type you can do everything on there so um always be prepared uh follow up with your customers ask for referrals uh providing good customer service uh can make you a very successful rep i don't know how many times i've heard a customer say i just can't get an avon rep to call me <laughs> <laughs> it's like the customers are out there. We need to find them and service them. Uh, talk to five contacts a day, five days a week. Do the same thing online, social media. So, so build up your face-to-face -face business, your online business, and, and dabble in the recruiting to see if you like it or not. Uh, when you invite new team members, make sure that you're mentoring, providing training and motivation. Uh, recognition can go a really long way as a, as a leader. Um, I'm not sure what Lori's talking about. An order number for the dog. So I'm going to say, oh, <laughs> okay, duh. I just had a blonde moment. Now I get it. Um, as you advance along the career path, you serve as a role model and coach. So um, that's a scary thing about social media. We can easily blow up or freak out. And then it's like, oh, it's already done. I can't take that back. Um, so don't get emotional and don't get drunk on social media, okay? <laughs> so those are my words of wisdom. Um, how to be a successful leader. Uh, sometimes it's good to, to read through these basics. Something that I've done as a leader is what would I want out of a good leader? If it's something that I would want, I keep doing it. Uh, and then if I, if I hear of ideas, uh, a leadership activity that I'm not doing yet, I try to do as many of them as I can. Um, Sarah fell in love with, I don't, I'm not even going to go there. I don't know about what night you're talking about. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think JP's the one that uh, did that live. <laughs> okay. Uh, career and compensation at a glance. So I put a big green rectangle around the bonus money. Um, I know we're hooked on incentives, but this bonus money is crazy. Uh, I think we forget about it because it's not an incentive, but this is um, cash that you can earn. Um, I was actually like the number three bonus earner of 2017. So you can give yourself a huge raise um, just by focusing on advancing in title. Um, so this looks very overwhelming to me. <laughs> and I'm a little bit nervous about moving to this plan um, because it's a little bit even more confusing. So if you are in your beginning stages of growing a team, focus on recruiting and, and always offering the opportunity for someone to either join your team or to buy from you. Um, I used to have the, the thinking of why would I want to recruit my own competition, but then they, they end up joining whether you're their leader or not. So you might as well build a team out of it. Um, don't get so caught up on all the requirements until you're close. Uh, focus on consistently adding, working with your new people. And by working with them, I don't mean that uh, they're not talking to you and you need to convince them that they need to keep selling Avon. Um, my thought is that you offer the training and the tools. It's up to your team member to be successful. So as leaders, we don't want to tell people what to do or um, how to do it. We want to give them the tools so that they can learn how to be successful. Um, and then when you start getting up here, uh, it's about developing leaders on your own team. So there's some uh, different opportunities available to you based on which level you're at. So a promoter is your, your first step. Um, and always like, like the sales uh, level chart, look at the, the step that's next for you. Don't look at the whole picture yet. Uh, look at the next title. Um, so you, you can have leads delegated to you when you're a star promoter, if you have a leader who, who gets leads. Uh, when you're a bronze ambassador, Avon offers the opp opportunity for you to buy leads from them. Um, these incentives, you'll see there's personal leads and there's uh, Avon leads. So when they say Avon leads, that's where they mean Alma. Um, Cheryl and I both invest in Alma and it is uh, well worth the money. It's, it should not be your only source of leads or recruiting, but it can definitely uh, build your team and grow it fast. Um, if you take the right steps to onboard and train your team members. Uh, just an idea of where income might be at these different levels. Uh, Gold Ambassador is kind of, I don't know, Gold Ambassador was kind of exciting, wasn't it, Cheryl? <laughs> yeah. It's good, to be, it's good to be at gold. So if you're looking to earn uh, $500 a month, uh, you might want to go for Gold Ambassador. If you're looking more at a higher income, you want to eventually quit your full-time job. Um, gold leader is really great money, looking at more like 2,000 per month. Now this is all gonna vary based on how many team members you have, how many leaders you have. So these are just uh, ballpark figures to give you an idea. Um, and then these levels uh, at the very, Top, I should say top, but they're at the bottom. Um, that's when you're going to be earning trips and a six-figure income. Um, I got to tell you, through building up sales and the online sales and the leadership, um, I have three, four, four Avon vacations this year. So um, 
really all that hard work ends up paying off um, it's a lot of fun to work the different areas of the business. I struggle with ba balancing it all, but it's all a challenge and very rewarding. So I want to show you um, this leader bonus. So this is the part that I think is going to be confusing for people. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just say... Let's say that this is Cheryl, uh, a gold leader, and uh, she has this team member right under her. Um, and then this is her second generation who signed up under, uh, we'll say Betty. <laughs> um, so this is Cheryl, this is Betty, this is Samantha, who's not really interested in leadership. Uh, but then Samantha signs up Nicole, and Nicole really goes after it and becomes a bronze leader. Um, so Samantha's not going to earn a lot off of her because she hasn't developed her team. Um, but by Cheryl being a mentor and helping her be a successful leader, um, she can earn extra off that team. Um, if there's not a higher leader um in between them ah so yeah if this if samantha only signed up the one person um then cheryl can still benefit by working closely with this bronze leader um so that's pretty confusing uh -huh. <laughs> if you're in the beginning stages of building a team um, don't worry so much about that. Go after recruiting. Go after those incentives. Um, and look at that chart and be aware of what you need to do to get there. Uh, but don't let it overwhelm you. Can I, can I add something? Yeah. Um, one thing that I learned being a leader is once, once you get into it and you start um, building your team, the one thing that I have learned is that it's, for me, helping my downline grow their teams has been the greatest reward for me because by helping them, you are naturally just going to, um, to promote, title, start earning more money and everything else. It's all about, to me, it's all about helping your downline. That's all. Right. Okay. Uh, this was my, Josh wanted me to show this. This was my souvenir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we found it at the candy store that we went into, and it's super annoying. <laughs> so I didn't want to buy them another t shirt or something that they're not going to use. So instead, I bought the world's most annoying mini speakerphone. <laughs> Let's hear you later. What? Let's hear your Darth Vader. I am your father. <laughs> that was good. I am your father. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you are new and you have not signed someone up, okay. And this is what, it, what I got, Ava. <laughs> Those are mini laser guns. And you guys are like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with these ladies? <laughs> Um, so you can sign someone up by sending them to startavon.com. Your reference code is the end of your website. Um, so you can sign up anyone in the U.S. Uh, I will tell you that there are frequently errors with the appointments. So please, if it is your first time you're signing someone up, Follow up and make sure that they're showing up on your team. You should get an email from Avon that says you have a self-appointment. If the person you talked to signed up and they said this other leader tried to contact them, you can contact Avon to have that switch so you make sure that um, you get the team member. Uh, it just, there's technical glitches, so you just have to watch out and make sure that uh, the process is smooth. So 
Um, you can always ask your upline or contact the leadership desk. Um, it's better to be thorough and make sure that everything went through than uh, not and then realize down the road that they're not on your team. Um, you can also send them to your website and there's a sell Avon link up there. Um, so that is a link that already has your reference code pre-populated. Um, so whenever I am putting a link for people to click on, I always do this way. If I'm giving them instructions on my business card or a piece of paper, I like to use option one. So let's take a look at our top leaders on Team Momentum. We have Team Shine with Cheryl and Jane, Positive Force, Kim Karpowitz, Elite Diamonds, Terry, Mosquita, Gisela, Miranda, uh, and our top five with total reps, Cheryl, Jane, Kim, Terry, and Trisha. And we have a hundred appointments in January. Ah. So uh, keep adding a uh, focus on growth. Have fun with your business. Um, is let's see. I see a question here. This is a for sure link. I sent someone. And I sent someone, and I lost on it. Um, so like I said, there are technical glitches that happen. Um, I'll be completely honest, they happen kind of frequently. So that's why you have to be really careful um, that everything's going through right. Avon's not doing it intentionally. Uh, for some reason, sometimes it just gets uh, delegated the wrong way online. <laughs> um, so always watch out. Uh, if someone tells you they're signing up with you and you don't see it come through, make sure you contact them because you have uh, only five days to, to have it switched. Um, and don't be a shady leader and try to steal people's new representatives. <laughs> Um, I, I heard of that happening recently and uh, it just amazes me the trouble that people will go through to cheat. It's like use that energy to be creative. <laughs> um, so you're never going to get anywhere by trying to cheat to get ahead. So just be a hard worker and be honest. Um, congratulations to some of our newer recruiters down here. Uh, Kelly Scott, Kelly Horan, uh, Cheryl Vira, and uh, we have Sarah, Amy, Heather, Becky, Kim, Barbara, Leticia, Jane, Gisela, Trisha, and Cheryl. Um, you can uh, always follow me on social media. Um, you never know what I'm going to be up to. I'm usually having some sort of crazy week. <laughs> <laughs> but I love my Avon business and I hope you found some helpful information here. I wanted to share this from John Gordon. He was our speaker. Um, I get all the conferences mixed up now, so I don't even, was he rep fest? Sure. Uh, I think so. I think so. Okay. Yes, rap fest. All right. <laughs> um, so he has some really great books on leadership. Uh, sometimes leadership is what you're doing right, you need to do more of, and sometimes it's what you need to do less of. So it's, it's a balancing act always to be uh, a successful leader. Uh, lead with passion, fuel up with optimism, have faith, power up with love, maintain hope, be stubborn. That's, <laughs> that's me. I'm like, I'm not quitting until I make it, darn it. <laughs> uh, fight the good fight, refuse to give up, ignore the critics, uh, yeah. especially like with social media. I mean, people can be completely rude and not have to fess up to it. Um, I had a call. <laughs> Oh, 
always interesting stories. I had a call of a lady who thought I stole her credit card uh, while I was with Cheryl in San Diego. And she thought I stole her credit card and she was mad that I had mailed her an Avon book. Um, and I go back and she spent like $2 on four deodorants. And I'm like, really? Like you're yelling at me over sending you a book and you placed an order on my website. So um, don't let those little things get you down. Um, people can be hard to deal with. So sometimes it's about uh, being more flexible. Sometimes it's about setting better boundaries for yourself. So just remember that you are the business owner and you need to step up and, and work your business purposefully um, and build it the way that is going to make you happy. Uh, believe in the impossible. Show up. Do the work. You'll be glad you did. True grit leads to true success. And then I like to pair this one over here because a lot of people can post inspirational quotes and they can talk a good talk, uh, but you're not going to get anywhere unless you put in the work. So uh, be hardworking and productive. And now I will open it up to any questions uh, from the, the Zoom chat box here. I know it's pretty late too. So if you guys don't have questions, um, I always follow up with an email with a recording of the presentation. I'll include the slide handout in there so you can print it out, go back through, take notes. I always try to include helpful sales tools and upcoming events. So um, feel free to join in on our next call. Uh, we're gonna rope in uh, Sarah as our, our guest speaker. I, I thought tonight would be too long with all the new content. So look forward to hearing from one of the top sellers on Team Momentum. Um, and I did get a question here. So let's see, I just joined the team. What happens when you receive the eight Skin So Soft 1999 order? Um, Renisha, so it's actually your first seven uh, full campaigns that you can sell that set. I think that's what you're asking me. Um, so it's actually your first 14 weeks where you can sell that whole bundle and you can sell as many as you can sell. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's uh, Avon uh, becomes speaking almost a different language. So uh, if you guys are new or you're not familiar with leadership, uh, just take the time to learn and soak it all up. Um, surround yourself with other successful Avon representatives. We have a great community. Um, and I think you'll, you'll really be happy if you can build the business the way that you want. Uh, Gisela, as far as personal recruiting, what are some tips? I would like to grow a local team. So Gisela, my um, traditional recruiting as far as face-to-face -face, uh, was, was never my forte. So I don't know if I'm, I'm the best person to answer that, but what I did was made sure that I'm always offering um, the opportunity and to buy. I know Amy on our team has a lot of success with try it kits. So she puts together um, a little kit, gives them an order form, tells them to go out and collect orders and see how they like it before they actually sign up. So then when they sign up, they already have orders to put in uh, that can help cover the, the starter kit fee. Um, I also recommend that both face-to-face -face and online that you're constantly collecting contact information. Um, so if you set up at a, an event and you don't have sales or you don't have a recruit, um, just look at it as an opportunity to collect potential um, clients and team members and begin marketing to them 
Uh, one thing you always want to do is enter them into either your web office so that they're getting your Avon emails or uh, do your own email marketing so that um, you can hopefully convert them into either a customer or a rep. Uh, so definitely when you do events, you can reach a lot of people in one day uh, and definitely collect a, a potential customer base. Um, so Maria, Cheryl, do you know offhand what the sales level is where you can bring a guest to the PC event? Honor Society. Okay, so um, co-applicant doesn't really it doesn't really include someone with you like on the events and stuff unfortunately <laughs> they can come but you like have to pay double registration fee and then um right for the pc events you can't bring a co-applicant right i've seen a lot of people bring their co-applicants but they're usually honor society or above i would suggest um, reaching out to your um, regional vice president or your coach for the area and asking them um i'm pretty sure that you can bring somebody but that you just have to pay for the lunch but i'll i'm not really sure Okay. Yeah, so the long, the, the short answer is we don't know. <laughs> if you're in society or above, yes, you get to bring a guest and it's all paid for. Okay, so, well, Sarah brought Anthony as the co-app and he got to do all the things that she did. So sometime, sometimes it helps to have a co-app. It, it usually doesn't mean that you don't have to pay more to have them come but um like for recognition and that kind of stuff it's up to you if you want them to recognize your co-applicant as well at least at the the national events i know at the um pc tributes they do not recognize your co-applicant at all oh okay <laughs> never mind then for a lot of co-applicants that were complaining about it now that could change here you know they're making a lot of changes so yeah i know at rep fest with the co-applicants you do have to pay for their registration um and i think you could bring any guests with you as long as you pay for their registration um they get to do all of the stuff at rep fest because they want us if we're not bringing a spouse or a co-applicant they want us to bring potential um, representatives to things like rep fest and try to get them to sign up and stuff. So if you're, if you're feeling kind of down about the cruise, get excited about building your team now for those scratch off tickets. Uh, there, there is no write in like the last time, right? Right. <laughs> so you gotta do the hard work to get the prizes. Um, and, uh, I would ima I would imagine there's going to be a rep fest incentive. So start start building and getting excited about what is to come that we don't know about yet. Just started using campaign mailer. Awesome! I love them too. I added a hundred address in there from a phone book. Do you know if that's illegal? Ooh, um, to be honest, I would not waste my money on catalogs for a blind mailing. Um, I only mail mine out to people who have even placed an order. I don't even, I have a lot of names, so I can't even afford to send them to everyone. What I would recommend is that you ask people, do you wanna be added to my catalog mailing list? Um, that way they're opting in and you're not wasting your money on someone who's just gonna throw it out. Um, I most definitely would not recommend just finding people like in a, a phone book or something like that. Um, and ask on social media. Um, I, I'm putting in a catalog mailing right now. Who wants to see the latest Avon catalog? 
uh, so so find people that are interested so so that you're not uh, blowing all your your investment in people that don't really want it. I always, I sometimes like when people say no because they're not wasting your money. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Daily care collection. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer this one, Sarah. <laughs> Four or six? Um, Seven. Yes, it's it, it. Kickstart. Last time I checked, it was seven. Not to say it couldn't have changed. <laughs> yep. Okay. The consensus is seven right now. Um. All right, it's still seven. Okay, anything else you want to add, Ms. Cheryl? Um, no, I think I'm good. Okay, Cheryl and I are really bad travel partners. <laughs> we got lost every time we got in the car. I'd be talking and the directions would be talking to Cheryl. She'd miss a turn. <laughs> We're like we the more than twice. We're the blind leading the blind. <laughs> I actually have a really good sense of direction. I don't so believe I you. She says she knows her directions, but I don't believe. <laughs> we got lost like three times on the way to everywhere. Well, I was gonna say I have a good sense of direction until I partner up with you, and then it just all goes out the way. It's, I drive my, it's for, my fault. Now you sound like I Rob. Drive, <laughs> I drive for a living and I read maps and I do inspections in an entire county and I manage it just fine. But then me and Emily get together and it's just like, okay, <laughs> we're lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I sent Emily the temperatures for the next 10 days and she was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Beautiful here. Buster. Okay, so I'm going to put um, some, yeah, it, it was because we were talking. I'm like, I'm going to shut my mouth until we're on the right path. <laughs> okay, so I do like to follow those motivational speakers that I've seen in person. My, um, so here's some of them. And what I will uh, say is that on Facebook, you can make sure that uh, you see their posts first. So um, let's see. Let me go on Facebook and show you how to do that. That way you can start off your day right. So um, that says that I'm seeing posts from Success Magazine first. Um, so what you can do is go to anyone's business page, uh, click on right here under following and say that you want to see it first. Um, I would also, uh, you know, look at, look at my pictures and see who I tagged from uh, the leadership conference and learn from these people. Uh, you can build your own news feed so make sure that you add positive things in there my absolute favorite motivational speaker which i have not seen uh live yet is brandon Bersh brendan burchard did so, you have uh, the danny johnson one yes Yes, and unfollow negative Nellies. <laughs> um, for a while there, I was trying to like infiltrate Avon around me because I wanted to uh, move in title. Now it's like, oh man, okay, I need more personal time. So it's, it's kind of funny the different stages you go through in your Avon business. So um, I will let you guys go for the evening. Thank you, Cheryl, for 
co-hosting and I hope you guys learned something and uh, join us in two weeks. Oh, who was the, <laughs> who was the guest speaker in Vegas? Um, What's I don't remember. Kin it, what, that was a uh, Kendra Hall, right? Oh, uh, John Gordon, right? The girl from the um, moneymaker lady. What was her name? The what? Uh, I can't think of her name. <sighs> okay. Well, we will chat with you guys all. Oh, Susie Arman. Yes. Arman. Duh. Yeah. How did I forget her? <laughs> so people, a lot of people like criticize social media and people taking pictures and videos with their phone, but I really love it because it, it captures the moment and brings back those, those memories that you were having at the time. So find your, find your delicate balance between technology and business and enjoying the moment. Have a good night, guys. We'll talk Bye. to you later. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>